The weather might not look familiar, but the golf course and surrounds certainly should. The old course at St Andrews, home this week for the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. It's one of the great weeks of golf. The Dan Nichols Show is in town to hang out with celebrities, watch the golfers, and enjoy one of the great weeks that the game has to offer. Welcome back. Uh, last year I would have welcomed you as Michael Ballack superstar footballer and I welcome you back as Michael Ballack defending champion at the Alfred Dunhill Links Championship. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was surprised myself. Uh, no, I mean, it was an incredible uh, experience for me. And after the second year just joining the tournament, winning uh, a team competition was incredible. But uh, yeah, it's this year again and it's getting not easier. <laughs> We're outside, actually, um, the most important aspect of St Andrews, which is the Jigger Pub. This is where life is learned. You do plenty of travelling, first time playing in Scotland, but you have played a bit of golf in South Africa, haven't you? Yes, we were down there uh, two, summer of 2012, I believe. Or maybe, I, the, the day I arrived, I think I had flown through London, had a 20 hour layover or something awful and literally feeling like I was gonna just like throw up, pass out, die. So happy, pleasant memories. Yeah, so yeah, South Africa is amazing. <laughs> so you have to come back because when you came the first time you forgot to let me know that you were coming and so I was out of the country. So I need you back to be able to do a concert that I can actually come to. We didn't forget that that was a little bit of an intentional move. I didn't I didn't want to tell you that before you got me on camera. But now that you have to be nice, yeah, we, we had scheduled it around your schedule for you to be out of town. So we're going to keep up to speed on, on what your travel schedule is and, and hopefully get a chance to come back in South Africa again uh, another time when you're not there. Ideally. <laughs> so Trevor Immelman wins the Masters 2009. Wonderful South African story. One that tragically, criminally, has yet to be made into a movie. It surely has to be on the horizon. Greg Kinnear is Trevor Immelman. Yeah. I like the sound of that, uh, but I think we get Bradley Cooper. I'll just direct it. <laughs> I want to be outside the story. Really, to, I need to get it might somebody be too close to the story. I'm, 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 to too, actually... I'm too close. Yeah, I'm too, too close. close. Too close. So and by the way, I, I think we need to get into the, all the darknesses too. So this <laughs> yes. is this is an R-rated yes. film. That's right. Maybe NC-17. Tear jerker. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it, it is a great story though, and uh, yeah, sure, I'm available. There you go. <laughs> well, there we go. Are you financing? I'm yes. financing. Yeah. There you go, we're yeah. good. We'll film it. We've got two old iPhone 2s. <laughs> all we need is a golf course. <laughs> we need, if we have a, we'll shoot all our scenes in a pub right here today, because we're you know, ready to go, really, basically. Really, really that way, that way too, we can't hear, yeah, what? we can't hear each other. <laughs> so there we go, South Africa, keep an eye out on movie screens 2017, the Trevor Illman story. This finally could be Greg Kinnear's Oscar. <laughs> I'm very proud of the fact that I'm knighted in South Africa. So I'm a commander. <laughs> commander Hulley. I'm Commander Hulley. Have you just made that? No, I have. I have a medal. I have everything. I have, uh, Can I sell it to you at a traffic light? <laughs> <laughs> you are, you know, cheap. Well, I have something that I'm very proud of and it makes fun. <laughs> the commander. commander. I'm a Commander Hulley. Commander Hulley. I'll make sure Hulley. the title strap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not many people know this, but you two could actually have played together for Ireland because you you played under 21 rugby for Ulster, didn't you? Did you, you ask him to ask this one? I did not <laughs> ask him to ask this I, uh, I had Ulster under 21 trials and I once sat on the bench for Ulster under 21s. I didn't even get a run out. But I loved rugby when I was younger, but I was too small and um, I had a bit of pace and I was it, and, uh, but I still love the sport. So when you were a very, very young child growing up in Belfast, would you have been watching Brian playing? Big time, you know, it's hard with him sitting there, but like Brian would be like way up there for me in terms of sporting idols. And what he did for rugby in Ireland was just huge. I mean, he's, he was the most important man in Ireland for 15 years. <laughs> for that way. So, um, we were yeah. in a huge depression. <laughs> <laughs> Has Jamie taken over that role now? Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
He's uh, no, he, no, he, he absolutely. Yeah, like, um, it's it, yeah. I, I, I must say, I, I wouldn't love it to be my life, and it's never going to be because you've got a head like that, and you've got a head like that. There's, there's reasons for it. Yeah, we, we know the uh, Fifty Shades movies are what you're particularly well known for, but you spent a lot of time last year making a film in South Africa. I did yeah? I was in Joburg for. Um, for three months, didn't call you once. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by to say hello. <laughs> we had our own thing going on, to be honest. Um, but you were in four ways, really four yeah, ways. Exactly, really. exactly. Explains the blaze of publicity. Yeah, that's exactly. why I came here. Well, it's getting a wee flow here right now. <laughs> 15 people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, a pleasure to have you both on the Dan Nichols show and look forward to having you back in South Africa soon. Thanks a lot, cheers. Cheers.